Press 744 in Roman numeral. 744, when broken down, is 700, 40, and 4. So when we add this up, that is what give us 744. Okay? So now, for the numeral 700 in Roman numeral is DCC. Remember, D is 500, YC is 100. So we have two Cs, which is 200 plus 500, and that is what gives us. 700 okay then for the numeral 40 in roman numeral numeral is x l x is 10 l is 50 x written behind l is 40 okay then for the numeral 4 Represented in Roman numeral is I V. I is one, V is five. So when I is written behind V, we have four. That is one minus five minus one, which gives us four. Okay. So now we write the symbols from the top which is D, C, C, X, L, I, V. So, the answer option B is the right answer. What is the place value of 3 in the number 8318? The whole number 8 3, 1, 8, or any order given whole number has its unit place at the right hand end of the number. Alright. The tens place is next to the unit place. Then for the hundreds place is after the tens place. So the place value of three is three hundreds. So the answer option C is the right answer. Express in Arabic numeral the Roman numeral CCC. The Arabic numeral is the usual 10 digit of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So now expressing 
the Roman numeral CCC in Arabic numeral is if C is 100 and we have three 100s so 100 plus 100 gives us 200 200 plus another 100 gives us 300 so 300 express an Arabic numeral so the answer option B is the right answer a quadrilateral has how many angles a quadrilateral is any four-sided shape so it could be a rectangle a square or even a parallelogram or trapezium so a quadrilateral has four angles so the answer option B is the right answer find the LCM of 2357 please write down to find a common multiple of a set of numbers you multiply the numbers together okay so the LCM of the given set of numbers is 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 okay which is 2 times 3 gives us 6 then 6 times 5 gives us 30 then lastly 30 times 7 gives us 7 times 0 0 7 times 3 gives us 21 so the answer option E is the right answer which of these shapes is a cylinder remember a cylinder has two plain faces which are both circles and one curved face as in the case of a tin of milk which has the top face and the bottom of the milk so the answer option A is the right answer 563 plus unknown number equal 721 so let this unknown number be represented by the letter X okay so now you subtract from both sides 563 okay that is 563 minus 563 then on the right hand side as well you minus 563 okay so on the left hand side 563 minus 563 we give us 0 then we are left with x equal on the right hand side 11 1 minus 3 not possible so we borrow 1 from the left hand side which now becomes 10 plus 1 which gives us 11 11 minus 3 gives us 8 then we are left with 1 in this in the second column so 1 minus 6 not possible so we borrow 1 from 7 so we now have 11 minus 6 which gives us 5 okay then in the last column we're left with 6 since we've borrowed 1 from there previously so 6 minus 5 gives us 1 so the unknown number is 158 so the answer option C is the right answer simplify the given expression 
So looking at these two fractions, they are mixed fractions. So we will convert them to improper fractions like this one of 5 over 6. Okay, so we multiply the denominator 2 by the whole number 2 which gives us 4, 4 plus 1 gives us 5. So now we have an improper fraction of 5 over 2 plus then the second fraction 3 times 1 gives us 3, 3 plus 2 gives us 5. So we have 5 over 3. Let's put them in brackets, okay? 5 over 6. So now we add the fractions. So we look for the LCM of these two denominators by multiplying the two numbers together. So 2 times 3 gives us what? 6 good. Okay. Then 2 divide 6 which gives us 3. So 3 times 5 gives us 15. Okay. Then we do the same thing with the denominator 3. 3 divide 6 gives us 2. 2 times 5 gives us 10. Okay put them in bracket okay so now we add 15 plus 10 gives us 25 25 over 6 so now we remove the bracket so we have then the division sign we now convert it to multiplication which we make the denominator 6 becomes the numerator and the numerator 5 becomes the denominator, okay? So now we divide 6 cancel 6, 5 cancel 5 gives us 1, 5 in 25 we gives us 5. So the answer is 5. So the answer option E is the right answer. If you multiply the sum of 546 and 1711 by 0, what will be your result? When you multiply any number by 0, you always get 0. That is the rule. So, the answer option E is the right answer. Find the value of x if 5 minus 8x equal to 9. Okay, 5 minus 8x equal 29. You subtract 5 from both sides. Okay, so now we have this we go off, so we have minus 8x equal 29 minus 5 we give us 24 good so you divide minus 8 by both sides so minus 8 we can do minus 8 on the left hand side so we are left with x then on the right hand side 2 goes in here for 2 goes in here 1, 2 goes in 4, which gives us 2. So now, 2 goes in here 2, 2 goes in 12, which gives us 6. 2 into 1, 2 in 6 is 3. So, x is 3. So, the answer option E is the right answer.